having the Stingray Traffic Manager decrypt and terminate all SSL connections is defined as SSL decryption. The Stingray will then talk in the clear to the backend servers. The Stingray can also re-encrypt the traffic before sending it to the backend servers. This would be particularly useful if the servers are not located in the same data center as the Stingray. There are a number of benefits to using SSL decryption. The first is better performance for your application. Stingray uses the fastest software SSL stack available on the market today. A second benefit is Layer 7 session persistence. For example, you can use transparent session affinity to insert cookies and maintain session persistence. Or you can use any of the other session persistence methods available within Stingray. Traffic script. Now that Stingray has a decrypted copy of the SSL traffic, you can use traffic script to perform network side scripting. And finally, centralized SSL management. By having a single copy of your SSL certificate stored on the Stingray traffic manager, as opposed to multiple copies on all your backend nodes. The first step in configuring SSL decryption on Stingray is to upload your certificate. On the Stingray web interface, navigate to Catalogs, SSL, and then SSL Server Certificates Catalog. From here, you can either create a self-signed certificate along with a certificate signing request that can be sent off to a certificate authority, or you can import an existing certificate. Let's first look at what's required to create a self-signed certificate. After clicking on the link, we're taken to a page where we can fill in a few standard values. Flashing forward a little bit, filling all these values, we scroll down and click Create Certificate. Once the certificate is created, we can scroll down again and click Export CSR to create the certificate signing request. Simply copy and paste the certificate signing request and send it off to your certificate authority. Once you receive a reply from the certificate authority, simply scroll down and paste the response in the Replace Certificate box. Navigating back to the SSL Server Certificates page, we now see the self-signed certificate listed. Now let's look at what's required to import an existing certificate. To import an existing certificate, it must be first in PEM format, and secondly, it must be split into two files, one for the certificate and one for the private key. The private key must be unencrypted. If your private key is encrypted, click on the Help button, and that'll tell you how to unencrypt it. You can use OpenSSL to easily decrypt the private key. We will now go ahead and upload our certificate file and then upload our private key file. And of course, give it a name. After uploading the certificate, the next step is to create a new virtual server to handle SSL traffic. If you're already using Stingray to load balance SSL traffic without decrypting it, you can simply use the SSL Decrypt a Service Wizard to begin decrypting that traffic before re-encrypting it and sending it to the backend servers. However, in this example, we will assume the Stingray is only set up to load balance HTTP traffic, and we'll set up a virtual server to handle SSL traffic from scratch. To do this, navigate to Services, and then down to Create a New Virtual Server. Give the new virtual server a name, and then set the port and protocol. In this case, we will keep the default value of HTTP, but change the port to 443, which is a port commonly used for HTTPS traffic. As we had earlier created a pool in Virtual Server to handle non-SSL traffic, we will reuse that pool here. The final step is to enable SSL decryption on our newly created Virtual Server. 
On the virtual server's configuration page, scroll down and select SSL decryption. Once in the SSL decryption page, select yes to enable SSL decryption and then select your certificate from the drop down menu. In this case we only have one. After doing that, scroll down and click update to save the changes. Navigate back to the home page and you should see the new virtual server listed with the lock indicating that it does decrypt SSL. Make sure to enable the virtual server once you're done. So to summarize, SSL decryption is defined as having Stingray terminate and decrypt all SSL connections and then talk either in the clear or securely to the backend servers. This allows you to inspect and manage traffic and use features such as session persistence and traffic script. By having a single copy of your certificate on Stingray, as opposed to multiple copies on your backend servers, you can centralize your SSL management. And finally, Stingray uses the fastest software SSL stack available on the market, giving you better performance for your application. To download the free Stingray Developer Edition, please go to www.riverbed.com/stingray.